when you first arrive at this mansion, you're sort of stunned by the uh, beautiful entrance. It's modern and it's great in the winter. Uh, easy access from the parking lot. Uh, if you want to have a, a valet or someone parking cars, it'd be easy to do that here. It's a beautiful view of the house. And as you make your entrance, it would be very simple to have a, uh, you know, maybe a welcome area down here, depending on your event and uh, what you're doing. And uh, of course, the entrance also includes an elevator and the main door, which is just beautiful. And as you come into the mansion, you're greeted by this beautiful arched ceiling. The detail's incredible here. Again, the elevator door. And this is the main rear entrance, which takes you right to the main stairwell. Of course, there's a little anteroom and a foyer. Here we are again with another view of the main stairwell. Restrooms, coat check area. Here's another room off the uh, foyer that leads to a great room to set up your bar, appetizers, a dessert table. And you could even serve food from in here if you have a buffet. It's right near the kitchen, which is in the end of the hall there. And we have also off of this room a smaller room, a room that I love. It's the uh, original breakfast room of the home. And if you look at the windows, you'll see why I love it. It's just a gorgeous room. Home is beautiful. Again, with easy uh, access to the kitchen and... Uh, of course, the kitchen's off limits here to anybody but licensed cooks and chefs. And, uh, but we can handle that for you. And let's go back to the foyer again. Of course, here's the uh, the main reception room. This is normally set up with round tables. Ten of them is typical. Eight around each table. There's room to put a trellis here with uh, lights on it or uh, many decorations you want. Decorate the tables, of course. You can get married in front of either of the windows. Use the uh, mantelpiece as a backdrop for a pergola. Many years ago, this room was uh, added on to by this club. And you can see here is a great space for uh, your actual ceremony, if you want to do an indoor ceremony. This can also be converted away from the uh, chairs as they're set up to putting more tables in here. Normally what people do here is they will use this room for the ceremony. There's also a pull-out stage here. And if they use this room for the ceremony, then the guests can move into the uh, main reception hall. Of course, these two rooms can be flipped or used in many other ways as well. And this is the uh, main celebration area of the mansion. And looking down from the uh, stairwell, Here's a view you might have coming down the stairs. As we go upstairs, there are a number of rooms. First, I'll take you 
to this darkness here and to the bride's room. This is where the bridal party can uh, spend some time before the wedding, before their event. There's a uh, bathroom here. Turn on the light. A couple sinks, place to put on makeup, and a secondary room. The next room is a, uh, is a room that's been dedicated to the library. It's a beautiful room also. Great place to sit and rest. These rooms can be rented individually, of course. And here's the men's room. This uh, room is very good for uh, the groomsmen or the bridal party. So the men can change, have a place to uh, call their own while they're waiting for the event. This is an upstairs room that's used for meetings. It, uh, it's set up with a big conference table and wouldn't be bad for a shower or for an event before or after the ceremony. Of course, off these rooms, there's always a lavatory available. Before we go out back to the main hallway, which, while you're taking photos and at the park, your guests can use to relax. You know, sit back, we can put a drink service up here for them and some appetizers. Again, there's an elevator access. To the main stairwell.